So Dave had to sneak into his mom's computer to delete some emails he accidentally sent her. His mom had a bad memory, so she always had notes with her passcodes. Luckily, the note was right there again, saying 9868. Dave entered the passcode, but it was wrong. Why? And what's the actual passcode? The note was just turned upside down. The actual passcode is 8986. Stephanie came home after a long day at work. She was very excited to finally eat her favorite chocolate she had been dreaming about all day. But the chocolate was gone. Stephanie interrogated each of her family members. Her husband said, I just got home from work too and haven't eaten anything all day. Her daughter Della said, I was studying all day and didn't eat anything too. Della's twin brother Arnie said, It wasn't me. Who ate the chocolate? Take a closer look at Della's desk. There's a chocolate wrapper. But she said she didn't eat anything. She must have lied. A grocery store manager noticed that recently they started to lose watermelons. He suggested that there's a watermelon thief coming at the store from time to time. He opened one of the security videos and could immediately tell who the thief was. Look at the picture and try to guess who is the culprit. Look at the guy in the middle. He has a ball in his hands, but he's holding it like it's very heavy. Usually, balls aren't heavy, so it must be a watermelon. Tom and Mark came to the job audition. The company doesn't want to hire parents because they need full commitment. Both men said that they're not parents, but one of them is lying. Can you tell who? It's Mark. Take a closer look at his hand. There's a pink scrunchie on it. He must have done his daughter's hair before the audition. Mrs. Smith invited her neighbors over for a fancy dinner. She used her best tea set and silver cutlery and cooked a great meal. However, during the dinner, she realized that one of her neighbors is a vampire. Who is the vampire and how did she understand it? The vampire is the one who brought his own plastic spoon and is eating with it instead of with Mrs. Smith's silver cutlery. That's because vampires are afraid of silver. Four friends met after the summer break and talked about how their summer went. Toby was bragging about the months he spent in Chile and how hot it was there. However, his friends didn't believe him and called him a liar. Why? Chile is located in the Southern Hemisphere. During the summertime, it's winter there. Toby said it was hot, which can't be true. Three friends, Blair, Chloe, and Nell, were walking all day around town. They found a beautiful but dusty house where no one lived. They entered it and started to take pictures. In the evening, they were scrolling through the pictures and one of them made a scream. Take a look at the photos and say which one scared them and why. It's the first picture. There was no one in the house except for the girls. But on that picture, they're all three of them together, snapped from behind. Michelle was having a birthday party. She noticed her brother was eating in his room with some girl. However, she didn't know who it was. She got very curious, so after they left, she sneaked into his room to find some hints. There were three girls at her party, Jasmine, Sydney, and Nicole. Michelle immediately guessed who her brother was dating. Can you?
Her brother was dating Jasmine. Look at the dishes in the cutlery. There's a lipstick stain on the fork. Jasmine is the only one wearing lipstick. Pamela is a lawyer, and Samantha is a journalist. Can you guess which one of these women is a mother? Take a look at the background. On the wall behind Samantha, there's some colorful marker scribbles. She must be a mother. Gianna was getting ready for her date. Suddenly, the lights in her apartment went off. She was almost ready and only needed her gloves. It was dark and she couldn't find a fitted pair. She only had gloves of two colors, brown and black. She was already late, so she decided to leave, taking several gloves with her. How many gloves should she take with her to be sure there's a pair of the same color? She just needs three. Even if the first two are of a different color, the third one will either be black or brown, matching the other one. A police officer was following a robber around the city. Suddenly, the robber entered the hospital and disappeared. When the police officer entered the building, there were three workers. One of them must be a robber who dressed up to pretend to be a doctor. Can you tell who? It's the man in the middle. Look at his badge. There's a picture of a woman on it. He must have worn the first pair of clothes he noticed. It was Christmas morning, and the whole family was home. When Bailey returned in her room after watching her show on TV, she found that someone stole all the presents she had been wrapping. She questioned every person in the house. Her mom said that she had been making dinner. Her dad said he had been mowing the lawn. Her brother said he had been playing video games in his room. Who stole the presents? It was Bailey's dad. It's winter, and we could see that it's snowing outside. He just couldn't mow the lawn. In the arts museum, the lights went off for a couple of minutes. When they came back on, the most expensive painting was missing. The detective arrived and started the investigation. There were three suspects, and he questioned each of them. Jessica, a dance teacher, said that she had been so scared when the lights went off that she couldn't even move and for sure didn't touch anything. Derek, a journalist, said he'd been in the bathroom at the time. Collins, an engineer, said he had been in a different room of the museum, watching the dinosaur fossil. Who's lying? It's Collins. It's an art museum. There are no dinosaur exhibitions. Can you tell who's not a real werewolf? It's actually the guy who looks like a werewolf. Werewolves only turn into wolves during the time of the full moon and at night. It's daytime now, so the guy must be just wearing a costume. Esme was having a walk in the forest. After the dawn, she tried to find her way back home, but got lost. Finally, she came across a witch's house and asked her to take her home. The witch agreed to help her, but only if Esme solved her riddle. If not, she'd have to stay with the witch forever. The witch took an apple, tied a string to it, and held it. She asked Esme to cut the string in half so that the apple didn't fall down. However, Esme couldn't touch the apple or hold it. How could she do it? Esme should tie a knot in the middle of the string, make it into a loop, and then cut the apple. The time police have found out that there's a time traveler who uses the time machine more often than allowed. They tracked him and followed him to the Stone Age. Can you guess who's the time traveler?
It's this guy who's wearing sneakers. Sneakers in the Stone Age? Really? Mr. Brown was robbed in the street. The culprit hit him on the right side of his head and ran away with his wallet. Mr. Brown didn't see who it was, but he noticed that the person entered a nearby hospital. When he entered, there were three people sitting there. Take a close look at them and tell who was the culprit. Mr. Brown was hit on the right side of his face. This means that the robber is left-handed. Look at where the bags stand next to those people. The first woman has her purse on the left side of her, which means it must have been her. For her birthday, Sienna got a beautiful hairpin. She brought it to school and showed it to her friends during lunch. Then she left for the bathroom, and when she returned, the hairpin was gone. Take a look at the pictures before and after and tell which of her friends stole it. Look at the glass of juice of the red-haired girl. It looks like there's more juice on the later picture. No, there's not. She just put a hairpin in the glass. Mr. Green got in a car accident and spent a month in the hospital. He got amnesia and partially forgot things. He didn't have any family, and after a month, he finally returned home. He found his street, but then he realized he didn't remember which of the two houses was actually his. Can you guess which one it was? His house is the one where the snow is unshoveled. He spent a month in the hospital and lives alone, so no one could clean the driveway. Look at the Christmas photos of two families. Can you tell which family is poor? The poor family is the second one. Even though the son has a big present, the parents don't have any presents at all. They probably couldn't afford to buy presents for themselves.